to handle uh, exception in uh, the Viagra application. Uh, the first uh, way is uh, catching exception uh, in a JSP basis uh, directly. The second way is uh, handling a, a batch level exception. And uh, the third way is application level exception handling. And let's, let's understand uh, catching exception in uh, the SP first. So uh, with this way, we use uh, Java code uh, directly in uh, the SP page. As you can see here, uh, we use a chai catch uh, structure to catch uh, exception in uh, the SP pest directory and uh, you see this is a very bad practice because uh, we should not use should not write uh, Java code directory in uh, the SP pages is very hard to uh, maintain the code in uh, a best uh, that is mixed uh, with HTML JavaScript and uh, Java code, and as you can see here, so uh, this is uh, not recommended. And the second way is page level exception handling. This is uh, how it works in the uh, normal ZSP page, we specify the Directive error page that points to the JSP page in case of uh, exception uh, thrown uh, in this page and uh, error page and in the error page we specify the attribute is error page equal to in the page directive and then we can uh, Print the exception details here, and this is the uh, uh, exception handling uh, at best level. And with this way, we have to edit uh, many JSP pages, which is not effective. So we uh, don't use this way. And uh, the third way is application level exception handling. And in this way, we configure the exception handling in a web deployment descriptor file or web.xml file. For example, we specify this XML in the web.xml file, uh, error page. And exception type is a fully qualified class name of the exception class and location specify C is the path to the error of the SP patch. Uh, for example, exception type is java.sql.sql exception and the, the SP patch is forward slash db error.jsp. So it's very simple. We configure one time and it works for all pages in the application. Unlike the second way, page level exception handling, we have to modify and update every single ZSP page. And also in the web development descriptor file, we can specify the error page by error code let me clear erase and we specify the error code is HTTP uh, standard code for example 500 or 404 and location is a part of the error ZSP page for example, this is the XML to configure exception handling for the error not file 404 and 
part of the ZSP best is first that uh, 404error.jsp so we will uh, implement this uh, exception handling mechanism in our bookstore website